Alright guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about my first AR-15. You can see it right in front of you right here. Okay. I've had this rifle for, for about two years, and it was the first AR-15 I got. And uh, my vision was it, of it was to kind of make a mid-range rifle, have a magnified optic on it. And um, just kind of a rifle I could take out and shoot for a little bit of distance. My vision is kind of bad, so I kind of wanted to, uh, you know, a red dot I can't really shoot too well at a distance just because my vision is so off. So I wanted a magnified optic right here. And uh, this video, I just kind of wanted to go from back to front of what I changed about the rifle, some things I like about it, some things I don't like. So we'll go ahead and start that right now. Back at the back, we have a Troy Battle Axe stock. This is one of the older models with the uh, the metal butt plate. That was kind of advertised as a, uh, a CQB weapon. You know, you could smack somebody with the end of this if you wanted to or maybe bust down a door I obviously don't have any experience with any of that but uh, it's there it's definitely solid I mean there's there's no break in this stock that's for sure you'll you'll mess up the uh, the buffer too before you'll definitely mess up the stock it's nice even the polymer is really nice and thick I want the newer the newer version of this it's it's basically the same except it doesn't have that metal butt plate it's just a lot lighter this stock is kind of heavy and that's one of the down points about it but it's got cutie mounts on both sides here and the other side. Then there's one on the bottom right here. It's got a nice, uh, um, nice storage area inside. You can open that up and store knickknacks and whatever you want inside there. But it's just a really nice stock. I like it because it's so so smooth. It feels good on the cheek. I've been, I've been a really big fan of it so far. Moving up, of course, we've got the little Magpul MOE grip. Nothing different about that. You know, just FDE. Um, of course, the, the lower and upper receiver just stock. The internal is just a standard PSA premium full auto profile bolt carrier group. Nothing different about that. The uh, charging handle stock, just a regular old mil-spec charging handle. Up here on the optic, of course, it's a flat top receiver, as you can tell right here. A flat top upper receiver. Up here on the optic, we've got a, a Nikon P-series uh, two-piece mount. They make this in a one-piece, too. I just went with the two-piece. It was a little bit cheaper. And I bought this from Optics Planning too, which I highly recommend. I've had nothing but good experiences from from them. The uh, the scope is a Nikon P223 series scope. It's a nice value scope. It, you know, it's got a pretty clear picture to it. The reticle is a is a standard crosshair, except it's got uh, bullet compensation drops. You know, for different uh, distances, it's really cool. And also, if you get a Nikon scope, they have a little program on the computer, and you can get it for your iPhone that has a uh, kind of like dope sheets and stuff like that, where you can. Um, you know, type in what you're shooting at, and it'll kind of give you a whole bunch of cool information. You know, I'm not too experienced in um, long-range shooting, so I really don't know, you know, all the ins and outs of that kind of stuff or how to, you know, properly use that. But it's out there if you want it. Um, but, you know, here's the scope. Of course, it's a little 3 by 9 power. Pretty nice little scope. I may do a separate review on just a scope. You know, I haven't shot it enough to make a, a full-length review, but I may do a, come back and do a, a review on that later. Kind of going down the rifle, you know, just a standard mil spec trigger group, nothing special about that. I uh, got a little uh, Magpul MOE vertical grip, nothing special about that. I put it there when I had the bipod, which I was running right here. This is a Black Blackhawk uh, little bipod uh, swivel adapter. But the, the bipod I had was a Caldwell, and I had a lot of trouble keeping it on there. It just kept on falling off. And um, I don't really recommend that if you want to go for a bipod. I guess I'm just going to get a Harris or something you know something reliable and put that on there eventually but uh yeah I had a lot of problems with the uh the Caldwell so it's, it's just I just forgot to kind of take this little adapter off but it doesn't really bother me but, but I kind of put the uh vertical grip for something to hold on to while all this real estate right here was taken up with the uh the bipod going on to the rail this is a um a Troy Charlie rail but what's kind of unique about it is it's got a cutout for the front sight post right here so you don't have to chop it off or anything like that i think it was kind of designed for you know um law enforcement you know if they want to put a rail on their uh their ar-15 and they can't modify it you can just slap this rail on here it's pretty easy to put on it's definitely solid i've never had any any issues with it loosening it's got a nice fit and feel to it nice finish of course you know it's a quad rail there's a good side picture of it looks pretty cool it's very functional it is kind of heavy um and that's one thing about this rifle. I, definitely in the future, I need to lighten it up just with the uh, this rail and that stock on there. It might need a little lightening up. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's been a nice little package lately. And this, is, of course, is a free flow to just, 
you basically just pull this uh, delta ring back and just um, kind of affix this in there with these little screws right here. And uh, it's, it's been very solid. And I've, you know, the only thing, only modification you have to do to it is you got to cut that little, um, little. Let's see if I can kind of zoom in right there. There's a little a front swing, uh, front sling kind of swivel right here. You got you have to cut that off. But that's the only modification you need, just because it won't fit. The rail won't fit with it in there. But that's the only really modification you need. Kind of going forward, you know, pretty much, you know, pretty much stock up here. Just a little A2. Um, flash height or nothing special about that also this is a one and seven twist let's see if I can get the oh. let's see if you can see that there yeah one and seven twist PSA barrel nothing too special about that and the last thing on the rifle is of course a sling and I really love this sling it's a little bit steep I think it was about 50 bucks maybe 55 but it's this uh, Troy uh, CQB sling. I love this sling. It's so comfortable. It has this nice le leather pad on the back. Um, it was a little bit long. See right here. I just I just cut it and singed it a little bit. That's about all I needed to do. Shorten shorten it up. But it's got a quick release right here. If you need a little extra extra slack in your sling, you just pull this off, and it'll you know you'll get a little bit more slack in there. But it's just really comfortable. I really love the sling. I want to get a few more of these slings and put them on my other rifles. I mean, I love this sling. It's super comfortable. But anyway, that's it for right now in this AR-15. We'll kind of give you a little better view of it, and then I'll go ahead and sign off. All right, guys, that's it. And um, I'll probably do some more videos in this AR-15 in the future. I really haven't done too much with it on my channel, but I've had this rifle for a long time. I just kind of wanted to talk about it. Anyway, guys, this is Jeremy signing off. And until next time, be safe out there.